here at Worldcon. Brilliant! <laughs> right. Hi, I'm Rome Cazada, senior editor of the Science Fiction Book Club. I'm at Renovation, the World Science Fiction Convention of 2011. There's a lot to see, so come on, let's go. I come to Worldcon because this is where my friends are. This is where my family is. Uh, every year, there's a great big family reunion, including the crazy uncle who we don't like to talk about. This is such a great show because everybody here loves literature. My first Worldcon was 1976, so 35 years now. There are so many things here. You know, there are authors giving readings, there are panels, stuff for people of all ages and all interests. There are thousands upon thousands of books to look at. And Locust covers it all? And, and there's Locust. So Andy, your badge is fully bedecked with ribbons. Could you talk a little bit about them? Oh, sure. I mean, science fiction fandom has a, a long history of having lots and lots of ribbons. Some of them are specific things people do, like Guest of Honor, or past Worldcon chair. Some of them are silly. Um, I always love seeing the people who have lots and lots of ribbons at Worldcon. Well, I have paperbacks here that sell for as much as $1,000. They're just rare first editions. They have, sometimes they're signed by the authors. They were throwaway literature. It was something that everybody threw out, right. and See, some people saved them. Now, what, what do you think is the draw of science fiction? Why is it so fantastic and fabulous to read? Um, you know, I think, well, they call it the literature of ideas. It gives people a chance to think about things they, could, they would never have come up with on their own. It challenges their ideas about how the world works, uh, about the status quo. It gives rise to an amazing, list of possibilities that could happen. Probably the most popular thing that we've been selling a lot is uh, the ring that she designed actually, the uh, Miskatonic University class ring. I'm a huge Lovecraft fan and so that's why I've done all of the Cthulhu stuff but um, I put the year as 1928 for the year Call of Cthulhu was published and then put the emblem as uh, Cthulhu holding the Necronomicon. It, it's just been a blast being that's at this awesome. show. That's awesome. <laughs> Now, what exactly is Filk? And oh, Filk, uh, it's, it's a lot of different things, but the, the shortest of answers, it's, it's science fiction folk music. This is a song I have written about Worldcon. It is called Nerds and Booze. I will not vote for your city for Worldcon. Going up and down the hills of the party floor see all kinds of different nerds and what for And I, with a drink in both hands Appreciate your party, but do you understand That I won't vote for your city For Worldcon The other party I went to so much more fun No, I won't vote for your city For Worldcon But thank you for the food and booze Now I'll be moving on This is Rome Cazada at Renovation, the 69th World Science Fiction Convention, signing off for the Science Fiction Book Club. <laughs>